there, my name is Helena. I'm part of Ritz Creative Team and I'm here to show you how to dye using our Dye More for Synthetics. Made specifically for, you guessed it, synthetics. It can be used on 100% polyester, polyester cotton blends, acetate, nylon, acrylic, and most plastics. Our main rule of thumb is that if the item you are dyeing contains more than 35% synthetic fibers, then this is the dye to use. If it contains less than 35%, then you can use our RIT all-purpose dye. And just like our all-purpose dyes, Dye More is non-toxic and easy to use at home. A few important tidbits before we get started. The only way to penetrate synthetic fibers with dye is to do it at high temperatures. So you must use what we call the stovetop method to maintain an almost boiling temperature for the entire duration of your dye. So technically you can't dye anything that won't fit into a pot and you can't use a washing machine. You'll need a pot, measuring cup, tongs, rubber gloves, dish soap, and of course, your favorite dye more for synthetics color. You can use it straight from the bottle or check out our color formulas on our website where you can create over a thousand additional shades. If you're dyeing a blend that contains cotton, linen, rayon, or ramy, we also recommend our Color Stay Dye Fixative to enhance the color and reduce bleeding. As a general guideline, one bottle of RIT Dye More will dye up to two pounds of dry fabric. But if you're dyeing 100% polyester or trying to achieve a very bold color, double the dye quantity. If you're unsure, always do a swatch test. Before dyeing, pre-wash your item in warm, soapy water. This helps to remove anything that may interfere with dye absorption. Let's get started. Fill your pot with enough water to fully submerge your item. If you're dyeing fabric, make sure it's enough water for the fabric to move freely in the dye bath. We generally recommend three gallons of water for every pound of fabric and heat water to just below boiling around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. When water begins to simmer, add well-shaken dye more and give it a good stir. We'll be using our royal purple today. Add one teaspoon of dish soap to help promote level dyeing. Now you're ready to add the item. For fabrics, make sure it's damp. Keep the water temperature at a low simmer and be sure to stir slowly and continuously. The first 10 minutes are the most critical as stirring helps to ensure even color with no splotches. When the desired color is achieved, remove it from the dye bath. Fabrics usually take between 10 to 30 minutes to dye. And keep in mind that fabrics will look darker when wet and will dry lighter. Certain items like nylon roller skate wheels dye very quickly, like in less than a minute, so make sure to monitor the color. Squeeze out any excess dye if you can and rinse in warm water. Then gradually use cool water until the water begins to run clear. If you're dyeing a blend that contains cotton, linen, rayon, or ramy, visit the link below to learn how to use RIT Color Stay Dye Fixative to maximize color retention. As a last step, if you're dyeing fabric, wash it in warm water with mild detergent, rinse, then dry. And there you have it, from white to royal purple. If you're looking to tie-dye synthetics, check out our other video linked below. I'll see you there.